In a significant moment for South African politics, Jacob Zuma, the leader of the Yumkanto Wiseswe, MK, party, has stepped into the fray to address rising tensions following protests at the unveiling of the party's new provincial leadership. The unrest erupted after the controversial appointment of former public protector Bizasai Mkwibane as the MK party's leader in Mpumalanga, raising questions about the party's commitment to its core values amid claims of parachuting new leaders into key roles. Protesters, frustrated by the swift changes in leadership, accused the party of sidelining loyal members in favor of high-profile newcomers. Zuma has countered these allegations, asserting that the demonstrations stem from misinformation and a misunderstanding of the party's strategic goals. As he attempts to unify the MK party in a rapidly changing political landscape, the stakes are high. This article delves into the dynamics at play within the MK party, exploring the implications of these leadership changes and the broader impact on South Africa's political scene. But before we continue, I'd like to encourage you to kindly subscribe, turn on the post notification bell to stay updated as we bring you recent happenings from the heart of South Africa. Jacob Zuma, leader of the Yumkanto Wiseswe, MK, party has responded to protests outside a venue where the party was unveiling its new provincial leadership claiming that demonstrators are being misled about the recent appointments. The protests, which erupted as the MK party announced its provincial leaders, reportedly stemmed from concerns within the ranks about parachuting new members, particularly prominent figures, into key leadership roles without due process. The crowd gathered outside the event venue shortly after it was announced that former public protector and ex-EFF member of parliament, advocate Bizasai Mkwibane, would lead the MK party in Mpumalanga. Mkwibane recently joined the MK party following her departure from the EFF, sparking strong reactions among both MK party members and the public. The decision to appoint her as Mpumalanga's convener stirred discontent among some members who questioned the rapid ascent of new entrants into top positions. Addressing the discontent, Zuma emphasized that the protests were based on misinformation and misinterpretation of the party's strategic direction. Many of those protesting are being misled by individuals seeking to destabilize the unity within the MK party, he stated. Zuma underscored that Mkwibane's appointment was a strategic move aimed at enhancing the party objectives and solidifying its stance in South Africa's evolving political landscape. Party insiders have noted that Mkwibane's experience and public standing were viewed as assets to the MK party, especially in Mpumalanga, a region with significant political potential. However, some long-standing members of the MK party expressed concerns that the influx of high-profile figures without established histories in the organization could dilute the party's original vision and alienate loyal supporters. MK party spokesperson Tabo Mokwina defended the decision to bring Kwebane and other new leaders into the fold, stating that the party's leadership seeks individuals committed to MK's principles and its mandate to advocate for social justice and the empowerment of marginalized communities. We are not here to entertain factionalism or prioritize individuals based on their length of membership alone. Our commitment is to the people and the policies we stand for, Moquina said. The appointment of Mkwibane, a controversial figure who has faced both criticism and praise in her previous roles, has intensified debate around the MK party's direction under Zuma's leadership. As Zuma works to expand the MK party's influence, he faces challenges both from within and outside the party. Critics argue that rapid leadership changes could erode trust, while supporters believe new appointees will inject fresh energy into the organization. The MK party leadership insists that the recent appointments are part of a long-term vision to reshape the party and Zuma has urged members to focus on unity rather than division. As the MK party navigates this turbulent period, Jacob Zuma faces the dual challenge of unifying his members while introducing fresh leadership aimed at revitalizing the party's influence. The controversy surrounding Kwebane's appointment reflects deeper tensions within the political landscape, where loyalty and innovation often clash. Zuma's call for unity will be critical as the party seeks to align its vision with the expectations of both its long-standing supporters and new members. The coming months will reveal whether these strategic changes can bolster the MK party's relevance and effectiveness in advocating for social justice and empowering marginalized communities, or whether internal divisions will hinder its progress. In a time of political uncertainty, 
The MK Party's ability to adapt while maintaining its foundational principles will ultimately determine its future trajectory in South Africa's complex political arena. Thanks for watching on to the end of this video. Hope this video was very informative and reliable. For more details on related videos, kindly subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell, and I will see you on the next video.